Here we've got a really fine example of a German grandfather clock. This one with display shelves in the case, often known as a curio clock. It just is the style of the cabinet. It's a wider cabinet with this glass in the side here and shelves in behind for collectibles or anything that you like to put on display in your home. It's a mechanical Westminster chime chain operated. So you can see the chains hanging down in the case. And that's how you wind the clock by pulling on the chain. So this clock's all made from solid timber, beautiful solid timber moldings, and it's stained in a, in a rich walnut color. I'll give you a little demonstration of what the clock sounds like. So I'll open up the door here. So on this side here, we have our chime selection for the Westminster chime. You can also silence that chime. I'm just going to go through the chimes at a quarter past, we'll get a quarter of the chime, half past half the chime. Then at a quarter two, you always get three bars, three quarters of the chime, and then the full chime followed by the number of hours. A really great feature of these clocks as a keening and movement, eight day movement, so you wind it up once a week. It has an automatic night off feature. So I've actually got it set here in the automatic night off. So if this one's up, it means that it's going to chime all through the evening and strike, strike the time. If we move it down to here and set it into automatic night off, once it's set in the right 12 hour cycle, it stops at 10 o'clock in the evening. So this is going to be the last chime for the evening. deep sound to the strike. So what we'll find now is that the clock is silent through to a quarter past seven in the morning. So it's not going to make any sound, so I'll go round and round and demonstrate when it comes back on. We just heard the moon dial click over at the top there. I'll quickly explain that. So this shows you the phase of the moon. So we see the full moon, it would show it in the center here. It's 29 and a half days in the cycle of the moon. And that shows you as it's passing behind here, half moon, new moon, and so on and so forth. So that just flicked over through the evening. So we're coming up to seven o'clock in the morning and then at a quarter past seven, automatically resumes. So you can leave it set in that automatic night off and that just happens every night. Or if you want the clock to chime all the time, you just move that lever up, bringing it all the way down actually silences the, the chiming as well. So to wind the clock, this one has the three weights here running over chains that are on the movement and to wind it once a week. So these will end up all the way down in the bottom of the case. Each weight has a function. So one is for the chime every 15 minutes. One is for the strike on the hour. And this middle one is running the pendulum, the timekeeping of the clock. And I'll explain a little bit more about that in a moment. But to wind them, so they will gradually run the full length of the case and then you pull them back up to the top by winding and pulling on the other end of the chain, not the way down. Now, as I said, this center one is actually giving power to the drivetrain that's keeping the time. And the length of the pendulum is critical to the timekeeping. So as with any mechanical pendulum clock, you need to adjust the length of the pendulum. So if you make the pendulum longer, it swings wider and the clock runs slower. So on the bottom of the pendulum, there's a little nut and we stop the pendulum and we either wind that up to shorten the pendulum if the clock's losing time and we need it to gain a little bit of time or we can wind it down. And that's just a period of regulating your clock. Uh, you can find it's a little bit of, of variation in temperature change throughout the seasons of the year. But generally, once you've got it very close, you can just leave it set. So this clock also has a, a mirror in the back of the case and internal lights, which you can switch on and off. There's no power required for the functioning of the clock, but you do need 
power for your light if you want to run the internal light. Beautiful beveled glass, hand beveled glass around the door, even the, the little rope finish holding the glass in is quite, quite spectacular. Nice polished key and, and lock really gives it a nice, elevates the finish with the brass in, inside. And this one's also got a, an etched pendulum. So you'll find there's variations, different clocks have different features. And this one's got an etching of King Ludwig's Castle Neuschwanstein on the pendulum. Really, really pretty. So if you want some more information, have a look at the specs. We've put in all the details, the, the size, the width, and all, all the information about the movement. But if there's something that we've missed, feel free to reach out and look forward to seeing you again.